Rawr! Greetings and hello there, everyone. It's me, your Middle Earth dad, Nooch Too Good, and I got a quick hitter today. Um, you know, they just released the shard store in the supply shop. It's right down here at the bottom, and I, I scrolled up a little bit. There you go. Right down there at the bottom, that little little dude. I don't know, is that Aragorn or something? I don't know if that's Boromir or somebody. Hey, I got excess shards. You guys, a lot of you guys were asking me about my excess iron hide shards. I'm not sure anybody else has got a lot of seven star characters going. So this is what it looks like. Uh, I convert six iron hide extra shards. I got them at seven stars. So my six extra shards convert into six, what are these called? Six shard coins. So I have six shard coins. Shard coins are used to purchase items from supplies, earn more by collecting character shards. So there you go. For every extra sh uh, shard you get of a character above seven stars, you get one coin. Now let's go ahead and convert these. And uh, yeah, I won't be buying anything for quite some time. My goodness. So I can buy 10 rare ability materials for 200 extra shards. Yeah, boys and girls, well, the conversion ratio of this is... is I don't see anybody doing any of this for quite some time. If you really think about the way farming works in the game right now, I uh, this is not going to be a viable shop for anybody. Now, you'll get some shards when you get some characters to 7 stars. I'm going to be taking some elves to 7 stars here very soon. I'll probably have a few extra shards. But the game is not built right now for me to go farm more shards. There's no really nowhere for me to go farm more shards and then spend them here. So I think this will be an unused shop. And I don't really know, you know, we got these pieces, Onyx 2, Jasper 2. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, the only place that we're farming characters right now is we farm them in guild campaigns, shadow campaigns, and light campaigns. And then we have some of these adventures right now that we're farming characters as well, you know, here. But we're not going to get anybody above seven stars in these adventures, right? And then you're not going to get Sam Gamgee. I mean, there's really nowhere to... I guess eventually, you know, down the road a ways, we'll be getting extra shards for some of our characters out of maybe the raid. So whatever whatever raid character this is, again, I think he's been getting off the gray, but whatever. That's just me. Uh, whatever raid character there is, you'll be getting extra shards once you get them to seven stars. But, I mean, we're talking probably... I mean, we're probably talking six to nine months before... And this is really viable at all as far as characters being farmed in a way that would get you extra shards of a character. Having enough gold to get seven stars of multiple characters. So, hey, the shard shop is here. They're converting the currency. Assuming this currency is correct at one coin per shard of a character, you won't be using the shard shop for a quite a long time to come. And that's all I've got. I know this is a quick hitter. I wanted to come out here today because I think I may be one of the only ones out there that's actually got a seven-star character with some extra shards just to show you how the shop works. Hey, everybody, that's it. That's all we got. There's your shard shop details for today. I'll see you this afternoon or this evening for the Eladon unlock. I'll be here live doing that, unlocking and testing with five stars. Have a great day, and always remember, a nooch too good.